Grunt number 17. You're in charge of Team Rocket's Treasury Department. Am I right? For 10 years now, sir. I'm very aware of that. 17. I'm a reasonable man. Am I not? Well, you are the head of a corrupt underground organization, but you're doing an excellent job running it. That's what I thought, too. But I was going over the history of our funding this morning, and I happened upon something that particularly caught my eye. Something that made me doubt what you just said. It appears that over the course of the last eight years, we've spent four billion dollars on a special robotics program. Four billion dollars is far too much money. Until this morning, I wasn't even aware Team Rocket had four billion dollars. We don't, sir. We had to borrow the money. What exactly did we spend four billion dollars on in such a special robotics program? Well, it's, 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 it's very complicated, sir. Tell me, and I'll try to follow the best I can. Well, you see, it wasn't taken all at once. It developed over the years through a series of loans to fund, to fund giant Pokemon-shaped robots. Giant Pokemon-shaped robots? You're shitting me, aren't you? Why would we need giant Pokemon-shaped robots to steal Pokemon? I'm not quite sure about that myself. Sir. And why would we make so many giant Pokemon-shaped robots? Because they keep breaking, sir. Why would we invest in such a robot if it broke so easily? I, I honestly don't know, sir. How many Pokemon did these giant Pokemon-shaped robots actually steal? None yet, sir. And who is in charge of this giant Pokemon-shaped robot department. I believe that would be Jesse and James, sir. Jesse and James. Jesse and James. There are three rules when you join Team Rocket. One, never loan money to Jesse and James. Two, never loan money to Jesse and James. And three, never loan money to Jesse and James. They used to be talented, but they are long past washed up. They haven't even been sober in eight years, eight damn years. It's a small wonder they haven't overdosed. There must be some sort of god looking down on me and trying to ruin my name. I personally fired them over a dozen times myself. Ever since they sank the St. Anne and destroyed my Pokemon Island, which was ironically filled with giant Pokemon-shaped robots. I don't even know who's been letting them back in all these years. I'm not in charge of that department, sir. I believe grunt number 24 runs that. You should talk to him. He never loaned them four billion dollars to build giant Pokemon-shaped robots. Why did they say they even needed them? I'm not sure, sir. They seemed pretty intoxicated when they spoke to me. They said something about stealing a Pikachu from a child. This was all for a single Pikachu? Yes. From a child? Yes. Which they never even stole. Why did you loan them all that money? Was Jesse blowing you? No, sir. Oh, 
God, it wasn't James, was it? I know they're married, but they're into some freaky shit. They had a talking me off that was very persuasive, and it kidnapped my daughter and ransomed me for her life. What was I to do? Oh, you are deader than our cable ratings after we transferred over to the Cartoon Network. Wow! These pictures are great! Once people see these pictures of the Cerulean City Gin Leaves wasted at a club, they're going to flip! The picture's worth a thousand words, but a picture of an open badge worth a million bucks! If there's anything I ever hated, it's paparazzi. And they have the nerve to call us the bad guys. Oh no, Team Rocket! What are you doing here? Prepare for trouble. And make it trouble. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight! No, it's track two! What do you want? I don't have any Pokemon, I'm just a photographer. You should know. Evidently you know all about Jesse and James. It's all right here in Pokemon Today. I had a bit of a problem with your article entitled Jesse and James, Team Rocket's Jesters. It's all right here on page 63. Right after the 100 reasons why Gary is the sexiest man who's ever lived. Oh, can I read that when you're finished? We'll talk later. So you think we're nothing more than jesters? Nothing more than a bag of jokes? We can be funny when we want to be. James, now's not the time, dear. Did you write this article, Todd? No, no, I just take pictures. Taurus, shit, your name's right in the damn title by author. But according to this, I wouldn't doubt if you thought we were illiterate. Let's give this a skim, shall we? Sometimes it's hard to even take Team Rocket serious with these two clowns running about. The first thing you hear when you see them is a long motto so over the top you thought you were witnessing a live performance of Shakespeare at its worst. Though they claim to be from Team Rocket, you have nothing to fear from these two besides your time getting wasted by them. They couldn't steal a Pokemon if their lives depended on it, and the only thing they're good at is surviving an airborne once you dispose of them. I'm pretty sure the R on their shirts just stands for retard. Recently, they've been seen without their talking meowth. It must have been the first one to finally come to its senses and drop out. Meowth never quit. He was thrown off a cliff. Do your homework. Is this what you think of us? As far as being part of the paparazzi, it's my job to be a douchebag. You guys are lucky to just be mentioned in there. Honestly, none of this offends us. We've heard this all many times before. From Brock, Misty, Ash, all the bitches they travel with, my parents, her parents, our boss, our parole officer, Meowth, Jesse. Actually, you're the meanest about it. What I wasn't fond of was what you said further down your article. People have said that Jesse's looks have gone downhill recently, and you might think this an oxymoron unless you've seen it yourself. In Pokemon Pals episode 20, she'd reached her all-time low. If you think her hair couldn't get any worse, you were proven wrong. Honestly, I don't even know what was wrong with her makeup, but that day, even James looked prettier in feminine comparison. I was having an off day, and you had to eat me alive! I'm an illegal criminal on the run, it's hard to keep up this damn look every damn day! Every damn day! Uh, that article shredded my self-esteem so badly that I had to go under the knife. Again, I might add. Do you know how much stun spore money we wasted on that surgery? James, we're sober now. But we weren't then. We could have enjoyed it then. Part of AA is regretting our mistakes, not wanting more of them. I know. 
You can insult our motto. You can insult the routine. You can insult everything we do. But don't insult my looks. It's a line you don't want to cross. Because when you insult my beauty, things get very ugly. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to go back in time and take out that part of the article. And the photos of James cross-dressing. Oh, no, 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 keep those. I like those. And I think I make a very attractive woman. In fact, I brought a few extras if you'd like to add them later. He's not going to keep them in because there's no such thing as a time machine that still leaves me plain pissed. You wouldn't like me when I'm pissed! She gets real nasty. Do you think I'm a silly jester when I'm pissed? Oh, Pokeballs. I need to be you right now. Like, you're the first ones to get pissed. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. I'm not the first, but I'm going to make damn sure I'm the last. What do you want from me? You've got some real Pokeballs, kid. I just want to know how big they are. I don't want to get my hands bruised on a punk like you. I better be more cautious. Would you like to take a photo of yourself while you still have a face? Oh god, no! Oh god, please don't! I'll do whatever you want. I'll, I'll even write a new article. Just please don't! A new article? Shall we entitle it? Reporter brutally beaten to death by Jesse from Team Rocket. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't. Hear that, James? <laughs> he's sorry. Maybe he's right, maybe I'm too emotionally involved. I know. I think you should do it. I don't know, Jesse. Pretty hard to top the show you just put on. If anyone can, it would be you, James. Can I use my Pokemon? That would take all the fun out of it. Just be original. Well, you know, I'm not as creative when I'm sober. But, suppose I could think of something. I choose you. Chainsaw. Where'd you get that? You'd have had that a second ago. This is anime, kid. You're lucky I'm not flying around shooting plasma out of my hands. You tore us to shreds. Now we get to do the same to you. You know, we're really much more productive when we're sober, James. We should stay this way. I couldn't agree more, Jesse. It's not that I even ever wanted the damn Pikachu. But ever since I got blasted off by a kid like that, Jesse hasn't looked at me the same way. The flame in our relationship went out. Went out like a dead Charmander. I mean, she still does it for me. But since then, I've gotten more passion out of prison victims than her. Even Meow started talking back. I just figured that if I steal Pikachu, I could put the spark back in our relationship. I don't know. It's like the more I try, the sloppier I get. I'm stuck. A never-ending downward spiral. I mean, look at me. As much as I try, I'm hardly ever sober anymore. Let me put it this way. I don't get blasted off because I drink. I drink because I get blasted off. James, I'm Jesse. This is Jesse you're talking to. No way. Really? Who'd you think it was? Oh, actually, I thought it was Jezebel. You do too. You two do look kind of alike. We do not look alike. You're stupid, James. Hey, James. You know what we should do? We should make a giant killer robot in the shape of a Pokemon. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure we've done that one before, sweetheart. Well, let's do it again anyway. It sounds awesome. <laughs> You know what, Jesse? That does sound awesome. Between you and me, we are the greatest members of Team Rocket ever to exist. <laughs>